Hi everyone, my name is Max. This is Clockwork Percussion, and today we're going to do a tutorial on blast beats. Uh, I'm sure there's a thousand videos out there. Uh, this is just my take on blast beats, something fun, something new. I learned blast beats when I was, I don't know, 16, 17 years old. Uh, it's been a, an ongoing uh, bit of education for me. By no means have I mastered it. Uh, I just really like punk and grindcore and death metal, so I'm always looking for new ways to explore the blast beat. Um, the first way that I'll talk about is kind of like the every other. So you match up your, your dominant hand, um, in this case my right hand, and then my dominant leg, my right leg, and then my opposite hand. So it's like actually like a polka, like a 2-4. So the trick here is to start at really low BPMs, like 120, 140, at 1-4 uh, at or 2-4 time signature. I like 2-4, uh, just so I can hear the every other. And then just gradually speed up, uh, 140 to 150, 155 to 160 to 170. And you'll notice when you start to get to those like 170, 180 ranges, you're going really fast and uh, it's hard to keep up with for a long time. Just know that everyone goes through that. Keep building up slowly. Um, so without a click, I'm just going to do some stuff. Here we go. And when you get fast enough, it starts to feel like everything's happening at once. Um, one thing I like to do is kind of keep the, the hi-hat closed. It kind of, I don't know, it sounds different. A lot of people do it open, but, uh, you know, why not mix it up a little bit. Dan Wilding, I believe is his name, from Carcass has a really good drumio tutorial on blast beats. Uh, actually, it's just his, like, top five the, uh, death metal things that you need to know and the first one he does is blast beats he goes a lot more in depth it's pretty interesting all right the next way to attack blast beats are actually playing everything at the same time this way is a little bit I don't know more challenging but it's actually the first way that I learned how to play blast beats um, just not knowing any better so this is like constant 16th notes Uh, and then you really fast. So, this is, you know, you got your alternating. And then you do the timekeeper. Another way, if you're doing like that constant 16th note, uh, way to play the blast speed is you can use every finger. You can do, do something like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's kind of helped me in the past. So like. Your fingers can actually move a lot faster at those speeds than your wrists. So uh, it's a little bit of using everything kind of at once, but the fingers are like commanding the stick. They have a better grip. So if you alternate the fingers, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, even one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, depending on what time signature you're playing, um, just a different way to control the blast beat. Uh, the last thing I'm going to mention in this short tutorial is the double pedal with your blast beat. So um, a lot of people think it's like cheating or whatever. I don't know. I think it sounds cool. It just depends on the application. I don't always use it, but uh, in a lot of cases I do. So, in this case, um, you can do like... So that's like matching up one for one. But you're just exerting half the effort with each foot. Every other, every other. Um, and then you can do that also with the alternating blast beat that I went over first. And just, you know, try it all out. Included everything into your repertoire. Um, you know, everything that you do uh, has a different sound. So why not experiment? 
Um, why try to be like every other drummer out there, every other band out there, when you could be making your own unique sounds and find out what works best for you? Um, there's always something to learn. Anyway, this has been my tutorial on blast beats, and I hope that helps.